remember when I was in high school, when I had my Subaru, I went to go test drive an Evo. I, for some reason, decided, because I was so deep into my Subaru, I decided to keep my Subaru, but I absolutely loved the car. I was in high school driving my Scion TC, and I saw a brand new Evo for the first time. I thought it was the sickest thing ever. I, I didn't really know it was an Evo. I just saw one that was fully like customized, and it was just sick. And I remember ever since I saw that one, I was like, I have to own one of these someday. Man, no disrespect if you be living here, but who lives? That's their post office. Who lives here? Bro, check it out. That's where the mail goes. All 17 people that live in this town, dude. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. I'm going to give them some privacy. I'm not going to film anything at their place, but... Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. All right, this is a little low. It's got an HKS super sequential on it. It's it's a little modded. It's not too modded, so I can still do stuff to it, but smells good. Oh baby, I'm gonna get in trouble. Like I know some of them and uh, they, they said that the last time that this car's been sitting for about seven months So they said the last time it was driven It was totally totally fine and it never did any of that now obviously I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna try to think the worst Possible outcome, but I'm just gonna go fill up a little bit. It's got like an eighth of a tank of gas So I'm gonna fill up a little bit of 93 mix it around a little bit and then do a couple more pulls I'm thinking it really is just bad fuel because that's pretty much the only solution here and I don't see if the AC works. Oh, it does. He said it's dangerously cold. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that blow off. It's so good. Something so funny just happened. We're filling up with uh, this Evo with gas to see if it, obviously, you know, you already know the deal. There's a guy that came up in a Subaru WRX and uh, he was about to, he's, he's literally about to just pull up and just say, yo, nice car. Like he's just going to compliment stranger. the car to a stranger. And I turned around, and you should have seen the look on his face. It was priceless. It was so funny. He just he, literally. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and give you the best impression as possible. Okay. Yo, man, nice even. Oh my God, Evan. It was. Yeah, that was about right. <laughs> it was. It made my day. That's actually probably better than. I don't know. You guys should know. I love you guys. It's not mixed up quite yet, but let's we'll see. Okay, it's trying. Okay, it's it's getting better. It's getting better. It has to be that. At hundred percent, no, like that felt just light years better than how it did before. To infinity and beyond. It's not how <laughs> I wanted that to go. <laughs> Bow tie. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, that's a cop. Oh yeah, this car drives infinitely better now. Imagine that. You need gas. Can I can I, can I, can I, can I? Thumbs up. God. Whoa, who died? Check it out. Whoa. Somebody died there. Somebody died. Do you want to pull a Tanner Fox and just jump in there and just start filming it? All right, I want to do it just a nice hey, first Hey, first year. of all, happy birthday, Ava. Hey, I don't care about Ava right now. I'm buying an Evo. It's, the, yeah, it's like, wow. It 100% was fuel. Can I have it? He didn't see the thumbs up earlier. Can I say I have it? Yes. I want it. Oh. You like that clutch squeak? Oh, baby, that's nice. We need some WD up in here. I just want to let you guys know, I feel like I'm getting this car for a killer deal. I'm stoked. Test drove it. It's good. I'm buying it. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm driving a new car home. Uh... I love you. I love you.
I'm so excited. Oh, oh my god. This car's meant to be because I can set my camera right there and I can film myself. That's how I know. I have an Evo. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have an Evo. I just bought an Evo. I just bought an Evo. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so sick. Oh my god. This is like hit me. <laughs> we bought an Evo, boys. It's, oh my god. She's a little low. You gotta watch out. Stall. Got a new clutch. This is nice. This is nice. Boys, we out here, baby. <laughs> Be out here hitting them boost levels, baby. This, I love this. It's got A pillars right here, so I know my boost, my AFR. I don't think it's actually hooked up, so we're gonna have to definitely adjust that. But dude, oh my god, we got it! Oh, it's ours. We got it. I'm so hyped. You guys have no idea how long I've wanted. You guys have no idea how long I've wanted this car. I cannot believe we got it. It's game time, baby. New project car, gang. <laughs> no scrapey, we're good. Man, you Subaru guys are gonna hate me for this. Oh my god, I can't believe I own an Evo. Oh, this is crazy. I'll just, I wanna say this. One thing I, I was always too scared to do on the Subaru, I will finally be able to do on this car. I never wanted to make power with that car because I just hated building a Subaru, but boys, you better believe we about to get back into the world of blowing up four-cylinder turbos, baby, and if we don't, we're gonna Jay-Z swap it. We are literally driving an Evo right now. My Evo, my new Evo, Tustin, we were once WRX brothers. We were once Subaru brothers, and now Evo gang. <laughs> I'm so ready to have a car I can modify and really truly build again. There's so much I can do to this. I'm already looking into turbo kits and uh, into just a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited for this car. Mm. I'm almost home. I will give you guys a walk around and show you guys this Evo a little bit. And uh, I'll, show, I'll, I'll give you guys a good look, but you gotta promise you love it, okay? And Subaru boys, you gotta understand, I wanted to buy a Subaru again, but I also will never own a turbo Subaru again in my life. <laughs> see my beautiful new car my wife my wife just revved at me she's so cute she's so cute <laughs> we made it boys let's go how did it look driving on the road you like the noises <laughs> i feel like this is so much more you i don't know why but like i feel like this is classic evan i know evan's back baby yeah evan's back baby let me finally show you my new 2010 Mitsubishi Evo GSR 10, 10 2010 Evo 10 <laughs> The big review baby I am so excited this is so tight I've wanted these for forever um I can't even I got I'm not I'm not going to show you me you guys just want to see this I need to wash it Now that this thing is clean, it's definitely more worthy of receiving a walk around. Let me talk to you guys a little bit about this car. 
show you around it. First off, I don't know what Super Wiener is doing right here, but there's a Super Wiener chilling, and I might just keep it there because I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is, so I'll take that off. So this is my now clean 2010 Lancer Evolution GSR. A manual Evo X is the easiest way to say that. It currently has, it has coilovers. It's got DOS wheels, which are made by Ambit. I'll switch those out. I actually have some NKs left over that I was going to put on my Lexus, and they are going to be so tight. New wheels are going to be put on very soon. I need to get new tires as well. Got wheels and coilover suspension. It's, uh, it's obviously, it's five-speed manual. It's got some, these are actually sick. I wanted to get these on my Subaru for forever. They got weather tech, uh, weather guards, whatever they are. Oh, otherwise from that, it's pretty stock. It's never really been messed with. It's got a few blemishes here and there. Like it's got a, it's got a love mark here. Now I'm not worried about paint blemishes so much because one, you guys know I'm a huge, huge detailing nerd. And uh, once we move in, so if you guys didn't know, if you haven't kept up with the videos, we um, we're moving into our new apartment that has a giant two car garage in it. So. We'll be able to do so much stuff with this. I'll finally be able to detail my cars again, which I'm really stoked about. So this car will get a very, very, very much needed detail. Um, it's got a few blemishes here and there that's easy to repaint. It's got a big chip in there. And we've got one little war wound here. I'm not sure who shot a 9mm into the side of this or a BB gun into this, but it's got a little nice little ding right there, which we will definitely fix. It's got a couple dents. Uh, that's, that's one right there. That's some just that's some easy PDR. This wing, as you can see, is obviously a different color. I asked him about that. It was really funny. The guy who previously owned it was too short. He couldn't see out of the rear hatch, so he took his wing off and left his wing in San Diego where he used to live. And then they moved to Texas, and the new guy moved to Texas and just bought a regular black wing. It's kind of in crappy condition, but it's fine because I'm going to be getting a new wing anyways. Also going to be getting a new trunk, but uh, I'm going to be debadging in the meantime. Um, it's got a couple scrapes on it, a little ding right there. <laughs> if you like the way this stance is right now, just wait. This is one thing I'm not really sure about and I don't like too much. I'll show you. Oh, okay, hello. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <gasps> oh, baby. This car is tight, dude. It's got a uh, it's got a muffler delete, so it's not loud whatsoever. And you already know your boy is gonna make it so loud. Stock turbo, stock everything, which is great because that leaves so much for me to modify. It does have an HKS super squeaky, which I don't necessarily like because this is on a Cobb access port tune. And you guys know from when I owned a Subaru how against Cobb off the shelf tunes that I am. But it's got it's got stock everything, stock intake, stock turbo, stock everything, but it's got a super squeaky in there. It sounds cool, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the super squeaky off of this. I'm going to get an actual bypass valve for it. I'm going to put the super squeaky on my 1JZ so I can make sick turbo noises when I'm drifting. Cuz watch this clip right here of me drifting. <laughs> There's no turbo noises. I need people to know that I have a turbo car. We're out here making good noises. It's a pretty high mileage car, and I got a wonderful deal on it. And I got a high mileage car because of what I intend to do on it. I could have spent 10,000 more getting a car with 35,000 miles, but what's the point if I'm just gonna blow the car up anyways and then rebuild the motor? I've learned my lesson once, um, so I'm trying to do the four cylinder turbo thing the right way. I'm gonna enjoy this motor while it lasts, but it's probably gonna be a splody boy. The wifey's cleaning out the, the stuff. Oh my God. So one thing I did really want was the Recaros. 2015 final cheap edition did not have the Recaros. The steering wheel is actually kind of bunk, but it's, I'm easy, that's very easily easy to replace. It's got gauges. The bottom, the AEM wideband is not actually wired up. The boost is wired up. He does have a, Somewhere. It does have a V3 access port, which I'm stoked about. I missed these so much. I'm gonna reflash the stock tune onto this and drive it really conservatively so that we don't mess anything up. And then once I start doing stuff to it, we'll get a pro tune. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's got a Tomei shift knob or whatever it is. And then the shift boot needs to go because it's nasty. This is pretty terrible. The e-brake is like, it goes up like 14 feet and I need to fix that. I mean, dude, for this car having a, it's got 130,000, 130, whatever it is. It's got a lot of miles on it, but for this car having so many miles on it, it's in solid condition. It needs some TLC on the inside. I mean, as you can tell in the video, it's not disgusting. Evos just have crappy interiors, and that's okay, because I drove a Subaru for five years. I'm used to that. Got a brand new clutch. The timing belt was just recently changed. I mean, it's a solid, solid car. And oh, bro, you, I didn't even notice this, dude. That's the whole build right there, bro. I got HIDs in the ceiling. So here it is. 
the new big boy in the family. I am so, so, so excited. Words can't even describe how psyched I am to start working on this, start modifying this. When I was in the Subaru world, you don't even know how badly I wanted an Evo. I mean, I said it in the vlog to start off this video. I wanted an Evo. I've been wanting one for years, and it's so sick now that I have a job where I could just go out and buy one and just have fun with it. High school me would be pooping my pants right now. Literally, I would have poop in my pants. But grown up me won't do that. I already know we gotta do one last touch. Y'all already know this car officially ours now. We gotta, you gotta rep that 5.3 Supply back. If you guys don't know what 5.3 Supply is, 5.3 Supply is a uh, company that my wife and I own. It's a clothing company. We, it's in the description of every video, but we donate 10% of all of our proceeds to help people, those who would deal with uh, suicidal thoughts, self-harm, anxiety, depression. We, uh, we donate to help that cause and help people get uh, treated for that, because it's a big thing for us. We love to give back to the things that, I don't know, it's, it feels good to give back. So that is our company. We have awesome stuff. This is one of our shirts. We have the most amazing drop we're about to drop. Like you guys think last season was good? Oh my so God. much better. Okay, I think it's only fair we show Puppy the new car. You wanna see the new car, bud? You wanna see the new car? Hi, bud, you wanna see the new, the new whip? There's your new car, dude. How is it? When you're 16, this will be your car. This one. Oh, dude. You got it, buddy. It's like I like Japanese cars. Dad can mod this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all. I went ahead and shined the tires up. Actually, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. She looked nice and nice and uh, nice. Uh, I shined the tires up, guys. I'm so I'm so stoked. I already have so much stuff going through my mind um, on what to do to this car. But thank you guys for being a part of this video, and um, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out, boys. Be victorious. Damn, I own an Evo. Okay, um, I so what? Well, here's what's going on. I got two videos right in front of your face. I need you to click on one of those and keep watching, cause I promise you, I promise you, they good videos. Check out some of my other cars.